A voter in New Hampshire confronted GOP presidential candidate Nikki Haley on the campaign trail for not mentioning slavery in her response to his question about the cause of the Civil War. Haley, a former South Carolina governor and United Nations ambassador, said during a town hall in the early voting state that the cause of the war came down to the role of government. Well, don't come with, well, don't come with an easy question, right? Haley said to the crowd at the event in Berlin, New Hampshire. I mean, I think the cause of civil war was basically how government was going to run the freedoms and what people could and couldn't do. Haley, who had made significant strides in the Granite State ahead of the January 23rd primary, thanks to several strong debate performances, added that it always comes down to the role of government. We need to have capitalism. We need to have economic freedom, she said. We need to make sure that we do all things so that individuals have the liberties so that they can have the freedom of speech, freedom of, of religion, freedom to do or be anything they want to be without government getting in the way. The voter criticized her answer and said it was astonishing that in 2023 she did not mention slavery when discussing the cause of the Civil War. What do you want me to say about slavery, she asked. You answered my question. Thank you, the voter responded. Next question, Haley says the crowd applauded. Haley, who served, who served as South Carolina's governor for six years, trails former President Trump for the Republican presidential nomination, but, but seen her support rise in recent weeks, especially in New Hampshire. Trump currently has a 17-point lead over Haley in New Hampshire based on the Hill slash Decision Desk Headquarter Polling Index. Uh, South Carolina was the first state to secede from the Union in 1860. The state's proclamation to succeeding mentions slavery and points to the increasing hostility of non-slaveholding states and the institution of slavery. Uh, it is not the first time Haley has been pressed on the war's origin. In a 2010 interview, she described the war as between two desperate sides that were fighting for tradition and change. The Associated Press reported the interview. She said the Confederate flag was not something that is racist. Later in 2015, Haley pressed local lawmakers in the Palmetto State to remove the Confederate flag from the Capitol after nine black churchgoers were killed in a mass shooting in Charleston. <clears throat> Democratic National Committee Chair... Jamie Harrison criticized Haley's encounter with the New Hampshire voter on Wednesday, calling it a slap in the face to black voters. This, is, this isn't hard. Condemning slavery is the baseline of anyone who wants to be president of the United States. But Nikki Haley and the rest of this, of the MAGA GOP, are choking on their words, trying to rewrite history, Harrison said in a statement. Fellow GOP contender Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' campaign posted a video of Haley online with the word yikes. So this, this has actually caused a little bit of a controversy and uh, I think for reasons that are pretty legitimate, and, I, and I, we've, we've discussed this before, um, the Civil War was a conflict that the immediate you know, cause we, we can discuss, uh, but, but it, it really was the culmination of about 20 years worth of disagreements over slavery. Um, and whether it would be expanded, whether it just be contained to a certain part of the U.S., or whether it would be abolished. And I, I wish I could say I'm surprised that the governor from the first state to secede from the Union <laughs> won't say that slavery was the cause of the Civil War, but I'm not. You know, DeSantis and Trump and I'm I'm I don't I haven't seen uh, Ramaswamy say anything, but I'm sure he's probably tweeted something by now. You know, these people they're all gonna post their comments. They're all going to try to jump on this. Um, and you know I I don't blame them for doing that. But <clears throat> what this really shows you, and this has been a crippling part of these Republicans for a long time now, for at least for the last few years, is. It's a lack of leadership and a lack of courage. It is forwarded by this article and by some people online as well that the reason Haley wouldn't say slavery caused the Civil War is because, like a lot of Southerners, especially a lot, excuse me, more, a lot, like a lot of Southern politicians, they feel as if to acknowledge the actual cause of that would be seen as something not positive for their voters who are much more less inclined to view the Confederacy as a bad thing or as an awful thing just with, with complete condemnation. So they have to pretend that, oh, it was too, you know, there was good on both sides and, you know, um, it was about freedom. And 
just it, it's it's really sad that that's a person who became governor that that's that is what people consider leadership to be and i don't think some like this is just my opinion it's not going to affect any of the new hampshire voters because you know they're they will do what they want to but i don't think anyone who is so afraid to just say the reason why one of the two arguably one of the three major wars in in american history altogether uh you know along with the uh, revolutionary war in the world war ii would be incapable like that person shouldn't they, they don't they shouldn't be president of the united states that's my opinion i don't i think if you can't even answer that question that very basic question uh which has to do with history it has to do with you know, and some pe- people still claim that we're dealing with the aftermath of the Civil War to this day. But my point I'm making is you really shouldn't have someone in a leadership position that's too afraid to say the actual reason for why one of the most important conflicts in American history began. It's it's sad that politics is like this, that all you need is a bunch of money and uh, you know you pawn some suit or tie or some dress and think that you're actually saying something or doing or saying something intelligent that people should elect you because if Haley were an actual leader was someone that people could rally behind and believe in she would have come out and said yeah civil war is about slavery uh this these confederates wanted to keep blacks as slaves forever and the only reason it stopped in the 1860s was because the emancipation proclamation and Lincoln's leadership through the Civil War. That's the only reason it ended as soon as it did. And even that uh, wasn't soon. That was still after 60 plus years of uh, blacks in chains and chains and doing the bidding of their master. It's, you know, just, it's not hard to come out and say that's what ca- caused it. It's a good thing it ended. Freedom. You act like the South uh, succeed, seceded because uh, they were getting taxed too much. <laughs> God, that's that's everybody's leader. That's the person that's going to defeat Trump in this primary. Good luck.